Hey there guys, John Campy here, and thanks for checking out my movie vlog, and this is my review of the new horror film, Wish Upon. Now, Wish Upon follows this girl who's in the mid-lower end of the high school social order, and through a series of events, ends up in possession of this Chinese wishing box. What she discovers is that when she's holding the box and makes a wish, that wish comes true. The problem is, and there's always a problem in these movies, is that if you make a wish on this box, every time you do, it extracts a terrible price. And as the movie unfolds with great and terrible things happening in this girl's world, she starts to struggle with what to do with this damn thing. Now, going into this movie, I really wasn't expecting a whole lot, and the movie met those expectations. Not a lot. Like, on the positive side, this concept that what if you had a mechanism, some sort of device, that would grant you whatever it is you wanted and desired most in life. However, a terrible price would have to be paid. Now you're having to weigh the decision, the great things you can have, but also terrible consequences that would come along with it. You won't lose one or the other, but you're going to get them both. What do you do? It's a really great sort of concept for a movie because I've thought of this thing once in a while myself because, you know, if you win the lottery and you really needed it, but that means that there were probably thousands of other people who needed it too and they didn't get it. You can celebrate your best friend getting a promotion at work, but then at the same time, your friend getting that promotion means that there were four or five other people who might have really depended on that promotion and they didn't get it. There's a balance in the universe and a balance in life. And this movie really introduces an idea where you could really explore that, the yin and the yang, the positive, but it comes along with the negative. And what do you do with that? And how do you value one over the other? And while Wish Upon certainly does show us in graphic detail, the girl getting all the great things and also suffering the terrible things, it never really explores that conundrum. It doesn't go into that question. How do you determine the positive with the negative? How would you decide what to do if you had the power to get your heart's greatest desire, but also some terrible price would have to be paid? And unfortunately, through the entire runtime of this movie, the movie, instead of engaging with those questions that could have made this film pretty special, it just dances around them. It's like, oh, you want to have something kind of deep in this moment? Forget that. Here's somebody getting their hair yanked out. Yay! Now, yes, there are moments in the film where you see the girl, usually alone, kind of momentarily struggling struggling with what to do, but those scenes are very few, very far between, and they never actually engage with those things that could have taken this movie to another level. And since what could have been special about this movie is completely absent, you're left as an audience member just to focus on the really bad things in the movie. It's completely cliched. Okay, I told you right at the beginning, right? This one girl, the movie follows her, and she's in the lower class of high school social order. Well, you already know there's going to be some blonde, most popular girl in school who's a total and complete bitch. And the film doesn't even even try to work that story point out any other way than you already exactly imagine it. You haven't seen the movie yet, but you already know exactly how that goes. You're left with stereotypical characters, shallow characters, predictable events happening almost every five minutes with the film, and eventually the film ends and you're just going, I'm going to forget this movie probably in about 15 to 20 minutes. The film is so fixated on trying to be a Final Destination ripoff that it forgets to give us anything else that could have made this movie special. And the end ending of the movie is as lazy as the movie itself. Look, I'm not saying that the ending could have been any different than it was, but the way it comes about is just so blah, and you just hear that little wah, wah at the end of the film. It's like, like I said, it just felt really lazy and disappointing. So even though you could have had this great premise that you did some really great things with, even though you could have had some incredible character development facing these conundrums, and even though you could have ended with a really interested ending, you took the short route out every single time. Time, relying, uh, relying completely on cliches, relying on trying to be too much like another horror franchise, and you're just left with a pretty empty feeling by the end. With all that being said, Wish Upon is not the worst movie I've seen this summer. About halfway through the film, they were starting to set up some ideas, but again, they didn't go anywhere with them. But like I said, the first half of the film felt like they were building something, and I was intrigued and sort of interested, at least until I realized that they weren't going to develop these things they were setting up at all, and I was just going to end up at the ending of the film that I predicted right from the beginning. I'd love to at least be able to qualify this one as one of those fun, dumb films, but it's not fun. I mean, it's not scary. It's not interesting. It doesn't add anything to the genre. It's just blah. Wish Upon. Not a horrible film, but incredibly dissatisfying because you realize it had the potential to be a whole lot better. Do I recommend seeing it or not recommend seeing it? I recommend that you skip this one. Go watch Planet of the Apes or Baby Driver again. So if you had the pleasure of watching Wish Upon yet, maybe you like the film. Maybe you think differently or maybe you saw it a different way than I did. That's the great thing about movies. Jump down to the comments section and leave your thoughts below. 
below. While you're here, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and on Twitter, simply at John Campion. That'll do it for me, guys. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, bye-bye.